We're gonna start with, uh, they're called seated cat cows. So everyone start with their hands on their legs. You're gonna start from the top of your head, bending forward like so. Then moving to your middle back, bending forward till you're leaning forward. And then starting from the base of your spine, you're gonna try coming back up to an upright position, working up that spine, coming up nice and tall, okay? So starting nice and tall, we're gonna start with our heads bending forward, rounding those shoulders, moving down the back, into the low back, starting with the low back, starting to move our way back up, imagining stretching at every single part of that spine, coming back up, extending nice and tall. Good, let's do that two more times. So starting at the head, moving down, bending forward, stretching forward. Good. Starting from the back of the lowest part of the back, moving back up. Get those shoulders back, arch that head back. Good, one more time. Starting at the head, bending down, rounding those shoulders, coming down. Then starting from the base of the spine, moving your way back up. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Very good. Okay, next we're gonna pretend we're a teapot. So you're gonna take one arm out to the side, rest your elbow on your other knee, and then stretch overhead. So we get the side part of our back stretching. Good, bring it back. Now put that arm on your thigh reaching over, stretching like you're a teapot. Good, bring that back. We're gonna do two more each side. So reaching over, feeling that stretch hopefully. Coming back, good, switching sides. Reaching overhead, taking some nice deep breaths here. Good, one more each side. So we're leaning, we're tipping and stretching, really trying to extend that elbow. Good, come back, we're gonna switch sides, reaching over, stretching. Good, coming back, okay. Next, if you'd like to put hands behind the you know, back of your head or your neck, I want you to bend forward and try to touch your opposite knee and then come up nice and tall in between. Good, so bending forward, reaching across, coming up nice and tall. Now, if that's too much, you can just go towards that direction, coming up nice and tall, okay? really trying to turn that spine as you rotate towards your opposite knee. Good, coming back up, switching sides, coming back up, good, switch, back up, really extending back in between, last one, back up, good. All right, rest those shoulders, those arms, okay? So next, you are going to place your hands together, if you can. You are gonna start from your right hip and then reach above, extending that right leg, okay? And then back down, okay? So we're gonna stay on this side. You're gonna start at your right pocket, going up towards the left but straightening that right leg. Good, coming down. Let's do five of those together, ready? Reaching, stretching, one. Coming back down. Again, reaching, two. Don't forget that leg is straightening out, good. 
Again, up nice and tall. Three. Good. Again. Four. You can getting that tiptoe on the ground of the one you're pointing. Last one. Five. Very good. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Okay. So you're gonna start at your left pocket area. Okay. So hands together, left pocket, and then you're gonna reach up towards the right, but extending that left leg and then back. Good. That's one. Again, reaching. Two. Good. Try to feel that stretch. Again. Three. Coming back down. Again, reaching, twisting. Four. Coming back down. Last one. Reaching up. Five. Good. Okay. Next, we're really going to try to get that mid back to be more upright. So we're going to go back to arms behind head. I want you from the middle of your back to bend forward a little bit, but then really try to bend backwards. Okay, we're going to do 10 of those together, counting out loud. Ready? So down, then back up nice and tall. One, good again, forward. Up tall and back, two, good again, three, really pushing those shoulder blades back, forward, four, good, forward, five, down, six, down, seven, good, keep it up. Eight, if this hurts your shoulders, you can put them down, but still focusing on that back movement. Nine, last one, 10. Very good. Okay, so next one, we're going to do our power ups. So if you want to stay seated, you can just by going down and then up. If you want to try something a little bit harder, you can go down and then standing up, okay? So you don't have to do the stand. Um, you can stay seated and still do the lean forward coming up. If you want to do lean forward to stand up, try that one, okay? So we're gonna do 10 in a row. And I'd like for you guys to count out loud um, at home. Ready? So down, up, one, back, down, and again, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, seven, very good. Eight, nine, ten. Very good, everyone. Okay, so for this next stretch, we're, we're going to try uh, stretching the back of the leg here. So if you're sitting, you can put one leg straight forward. You can also do this standing. If you're sitting, keeping that back up nice and tall and leaning that trunk forward, holding it a couple seconds, and then coming back. If you wanna try it standing, you can do so standing by putting one leg forward, bending forward and holding. So it's the same motion, but if you want to try standing, be my guest. If you want to stay sitting, that is okay as well. So let's put one leg forward. I chose my right leg, keeping that knee straight on a tip forward, hold it. 
Good, slowly come up. We're gonna do five of those, okay? So leaning forward, this is number two. Good, slowly coming up. And again, this is number three. Making sure our back stays flat, more like we're hinging at our hips. Good, coming up. Back down, this is four. Hopefully you're feeling that stretch anywhere from your bottom region down to the back of the knee. Good, coming up. Last one on this side. Holding forward, feeling that stretch on the back of the thigh. Good, slowly coming up. Okay, so I'd like you to switch legs, okay? So whichever leg you didn't do, put that one out in front. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? So folding forward, feeling the stretch on the back. Good, slowly coming up. Good, let's try that one again. Forward. Good, coming back up. Hopefully as you're stretching, you can notice you can go a little bit further. Let's go forward, hold it here. Good, and up, we got two more to do, okay? Forward, hold it, make sure you're breathing. Good, and up, last one. Leaning forward, feeling that stretch. Good, coming back up. Okay, so for our next one, we're gonna to try to stretch those inner thighs here. So if you are sitting, you can try putting one leg out to the side and then leaning towards the knee that's bent to try to stretch the inner thigh here. If you are standing, you can stand and do a lateral lunge. So if you wanna try it standing, you can stand and then lunge onto that leg to feel that inner thigh stretch, okay? So, all right, everyone come back to center. We're gonna try holding it 10 seconds. One way, okay, ready? So sitting or standing, good. Lean onto that side, try to straighten this leg so you can hopefully feel a pull on the inner thigh. Good, come back up. Good, again, let's go. Lunge into that same side. Hopefully you're feeling a stretch on the opposite leg. You can always try a wider stance if you need. Coming back up, very good. Last one on this side. We're lunging, we're leaning, trying to stretch, make our bodies as big as we can. Hopefully feeling a stretch in those inner thighs. Good, and then come back up, okay. So we're gonna switch legs. So whichever leg was not stretching out to the side, I would like for that leg to be the one of focus now, okay? So opposite leg, let's out nice and far, and then we're leaning onto the other side, hopefully feeling a stretch on that inner thigh. Nice big motion of that leg that's out to the side. Very good. Slowly come up or sit back up. Good, let's try another one. Nice big step. Really trying to extend that leg out. Good, holding here and breathing. Good, coming back up. We got one more to do. You can try putting that leg out maybe a little bit more. Lunging onto the side here. Good. Same position if you're sitting. Hopefully feeling a stretch in those legs. Very good. Okay. Good. So that was our warm up for today.
our next circuit can be, you can do it standing or sitting. We're gonna do it three times. I will start with it sitting and then I will do it standing so you guys can see both. I will be using some uh, hand weights, okay? So if you wanna grab those real quick, that would be great. We're going to do this for 50 seconds and then rest for 20. So. Okay. So the first exercise is going to be a side step with an overhead lift, okay? And then you're gonna switch sides, side step, and lift. If you can try to get them going at the same time, alternating between sides. Good, so it's like a half jumping jack. Very good, so that's our first exercise. Our second one, we're gonna be marching as for Marching, we're going to be punching across our bodies. So I don't want those feet to stop moving. I want them to be a nice big lift, but I also want our arms turning and punching across our bodies. Okay, so that's the second one. Our third one is going to be, we're going to straighten one leg and then we're going to reach and turn our bodies to face our opposite leg that is bent here. And then we're coming back. And then same thing, you're turning towards this bent knee, straightening that, trying to twist as you do so, coming back. So it's kind of a pivot in the chair, leg goes behind you, we're reaching above head, okay? Which is why I practice a lot of those steps to begin with. So hopefully our hips won't cramp on us today to get that motion going, okay? And then our last one, I'm gonna grab one weight here and I'm gonna turn it side to side like I'm driving a small car. And then I'm gonna step out and in alternating sides as I go, okay? So I'm driving that car, but I'm stepping in and out as I go, okay? So a lot of these, you're doing two things at once. So hopefully it'll help stimulate our brains and our bodies. And those are our four exercises, all right? So I'm just gonna get my interval timer started. Okay, first one, side step and just punching overhead. Good, nice big steps, punching that ceiling as that leg is extending out to the side. Good, nice big motion, really trying to sit up nice and tall, using our core to keep us up tall. Good, everyone. Yep, try alternating sides. Our trunk should be staying forward for this one. Good. Very good, and rest. Good, so that was 50 seconds of the first one. We have 20 seconds in between. Our next one will be the march with the crossbody punch. Okay. Take some deep breaths here. And we're going. So marching, punching across the body. Trying to keep those legs moving. Try to make sure those knees are coming up towards the ceiling. 
Nice big motion of the knees. Good. Kind of like you're running in place, alternating those punches. Good. If this hurts the shoulders at all, you can try no weights. You can try just reaching as much as you can across the body. Very good, and rest. Okay. Our next one will be the one where we turn our bodies and twist them as we raise above our head. Okay. Ready? All right, turn and twist, reaching up, coming back to center. Good, then switching sides, making sure we're turning our bodies, coming back. Twist and reach, good. Come back, switch sides. Twist and reach, come back, other side. Good, back to center, switching sides. Back to center, switching again. Nice big reach of that arm and that leg. Good, switch. Coming back, switch, coming back. Good, we get a rest. Last one, I'm just gonna put one of my hand weights down. So I just have one. We're gonna do that driver with our stepping out and in. So, ready? We're driving that car, but then I want you to step out. Then in, switch sides, out, then in. Good. If you don't have a hand weight, you can just imagine you do, kind of rotating one arm over the other. Good, nice big steps as we go. Trying to do two motions at once while maintaining our posture. So we're not leaning forward. Whatever car I'm driving is running into everything. I keep just going back and forth. Very good. Woo, and rest. Good, that was one round of our circuit done. Good job, everyone. We still have two more to do, but if you want to grab some water, Grab some water. We are gonna do the same exact four exercises, okay? This time I will be doing it standing. If you need to remain seated, the four we just did is the four that we're doing again, okay? So the motions will look very similar, okay? I just will be standing instead of sitting, okay? So if you want to join me standing, Please do. If you need a chair in front of you to help with the balance, please use one. I'm going to keep mine off to the side, but if you need it in front of you, please do so, okay? So we're going to do the same time, okay? Same exercises, okay? So. If you need that chair in front of you, please do so. So we're going up above head with a step out to the side. Good. Switching sides, punching that ceiling, stepping out. Nice big steps if you can. If you need a chair in front of you to hold on while you step, please do so. Good. Switching, alternating each side. Nice big step, trying to punch that ceiling as you go. Good. Whether you're sitting or standing, making sure you're up nice and tall. Try not to lean forward. Good. Good. 
Good, and rest. You guys can catch your breath. Next one we have is that march with the crossbody punch, okay? So if you need to hold on, please do, and you can punch one arm at a time. Good, let's begin. So we're punching across alternating arms as we're marching. Good, I'm not going at a specific pace. You can go faster if you want, slower if you need to. If the balance is too hard here, you can go back to the chair because it is definitely hard. So you have to balance on one foot, especially as you're punching. Good. Punching side to side, nice big arm movements. If you want to go faster, try that. Very good and rest, okay? So this next one will be the one where we we twist and reach above. So if you're sitting, making sure that one leg is straight behind you. Ready? So we're reaching across, extending that leg, coming back, switching sides, reaching across, trying to make one big diagonal line with our body. Good, come back. Switching, hopefully as you're going to the side, you're facing the wall towards the arm that you're lifting. That way we can get some turning in our backs. Good, switching. Good, nice big steps if you can. Good, almost done. Very good, rest, we have one more to do. Our last one's our driver with our steps out and step in, okay? Okay, out in front, driving that car, but then stepping out and in as we're driving. So this one also takes some balance doing it standing. So if you need to go back to that chair for safety, please do. If you wanna challenge that balance and feel safe doing so, try standing. Good, nice big lift to the leg. Still rotating that dumbbell or pretending to rotate a dumbbell in front of you. Good. Very good, round two is done. You guys can grab some water if you need. We will be doing that one more time. I will be remaining standing for the third round. It's gonna be the same four exercises we did the first two rounds, okay? If some of them you can do standing, but some you need to sit, I would encourage you to try to stand on the ones you can stand on. Um, if you wanna stay seated the whole time, that is also okay. As long as you're challenging yourself safely. Okay, we ready for round three? Okay, ready? So we're doing step out, punch up, switching. Good, I'm gonna go a little faster this round. Punch, punch, good. Trying to get my heart rate up. Punch and come back, switch, 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 good. 
Keep going, guys. You got it. 20 more seconds. Good. Last 10, really push. Try going a little faster if you can those last 10 seconds. Good, and rest. Good job. Okay, up next we have our march with our punch across our body, okay? Ready? So we're marching and then we're punching. Good. Nice big lift of the knees. Really trying to turn shoulder blades and trunk as you're punching. Good, keep those legs moving. If you're standing and you need to pause to punch, because standing on one leg is too hard, that is also okay. Good, last time, let's speed it up. Good, switch, 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 switch. Very good. Okay, we got about 20 seconds rest. Next, we have our turn with our lift overhead. Okay, ready? So we're turning and lifting overhead, coming back down, twisting and lifting overhead, back down, twist and lift, good. Make sure that one leg behind you is pointed. Switch, reaching nice and tall, switch, good, back down, back down, switching, good, last time, I'm going to go a little quicker, switch, 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 switch. Switch. Good, and rest. Only one more for our circuit today. And then we're done with these exercises for today. Last one's our driver with our steps, okay? So let's start with the driver part. Stepping out, back together, stepping out, Back together. Good. Switching legs as you go. Make sure you're still driving that car in front of you. Stepping out and in. Out, in. I do not mind what speed you're going with your steering wheel or pretend steering wheel. As long as we're alternating the feet, moving the arms legs at the same time. Last 10, we'll go a little faster. Step, 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 step. Woo, very good. Okay, we completed our circuit series for today. That is very good. Okay, so for this next portion, we are going to be doing some power moves, but we will be doing them on our hands and knees. Now, if you cannot go on your hands and knees, I'm going to do a very quick demonstration of them seated, okay? So when I say power up, going down and up is your power up if you're sitting. If I say rock or lean, you're going to be going overhead like so. Switching sides, okay? So that's the second one. The third one, you're out like so, and you're twisting and opening up. Twisting, opening up, okay? 
And then the last one seated is a step out, back in, out, back in. Okay, so if you're sitting, this is one, two, third exercise, and then you have the steps, okay? So I still want you to participate even if you can't get on your hands and knees by doing those exercises while we're doing ours on the floor. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a good angle here. If you need your chair to get on the ground, please do so. Okay, so we're gonna start with those power ups. So even if you're sitting, I would like to make sure you're moving. If you're joining me on the ground, then you will be doing exactly what I'm doing. We're gonna power down. So you're gonna lean back, get some momentum, and then try to come up nice and tall, pushing those hips forward. If you're sitting, it's just the down and up motion. We're gonna do 10 in a row, ready? Down, up, one, down, Two, down, three, down, four, down, five, up nice and tall, down, six, seven, nice wide fingers, eight, good, nine, Last one, 10, very good. So remember if you're sitting for this next one, you're doing that reach across with the leg coming out. If you're with me on all fours, you're gonna go down and then you're going to try to come forward, stretching back and then back to center, okay? We're gonna try 10 of those in a row, counting out loud. So if you're seated, try alternating sides. You'll do five each side, okay? Ready, rock. Good, and then forward, we're shifting. Good, come back. Good, shift forward, or switch sides if you're sitting. Good, rocking back. Good, shifting forward, stretching up. Three, good, keep it going. Four, try to count out loud at home, nice big voices. Five, good, back, and then forward. Six, good again. Seven, eight, good, two more. Nine, Last one, 10. Very good. Okay, now we have our twisting exercise. So if you're sitting, you're going like this, twisting over each side, making sure that your leg moves with you, okay? Now, if you're on the ground with me, you are gonna reach under your arm, under your chest area, then you're gonna come up, reaching towards that side of that arm, okay? So we're gonna do five each side, okay? Ready and twist, good, then up, one, same arm, good, under, twist, over, good, two, under, over, three, twisting under, and over, four, Again, under, over, five. All right, same motion if you're sitting. If you are on your hands and knees, we're just switching arms, okay? Ready, and we're twisting under, over, one. Again, under, over, 
two. Good, again, twisting under, stretching up, three, again, twisting, good, four, last one, twisting, five. Okay, so our last one is our step. If you are on your hands and knees and you need a chair for this one, you can use a chair. So for hands and knees, the step is trying to bring that leg all the way up towards your hand and then bringing it back and then switching sides. Okay, now that is very challenging to do. So if you need a chair in front of you to help get some more motion, you can do like this, okay? Now, if you're sitting, you're doing the step out to the side, back in, out to the side, back in with those legs. We're gonna do 10 total alternating sides, okay? So ready? Let's start with our right leg. Step out and then back and then switch. Other side, back, that's two, switch. Three, switch, four, switch, five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good. Okay. I'm going to be staying on the floor for one or two more exercises, but I will show the sitting alternates. So if you're on the ground, please stay on the ground. If you are sitting, the exercise I want you to do is try lifting one knee up with your opposite arm up. So it's gonna be opposite sides lifting up towards the ceiling, okay? If you are on the ground with me, you are going to do the same thing, but with your arms and legs, opposites going out from your trunk. Okay. And we're going to try 10 total. Okay. So if you're sitting opposite arm and leg lifting, same thing if you're on all fours. Ready? And lift. One. Switch. Two. Switch, three, switch, four, good, five, switch, six, switch, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay. Next, if you are sitting, you are going to be sitting and then you are going to be taking your hand weight and then doing a diagonal lift two times one way, switching pockets two times the other way. Okay, so going from a pocket, diagonal up overhead. Okay, if you are kneeling, we will be doing the same thing but on our knees, up nice and tall. It's a hard position to hold. We'll be doing those chops as well. All right, are we ready? So from our hips, up one, again, two, switching sides. One, two, switch sides. One, two, switch. One, two, good. Again, switching sides. One, two, switch. One, two, two more times. Ready? Lifting up. One, two, switching sides. One, two, one more time. Pocket up. One, two, and switch, one, two, very good. Okay, last one. 
If you are sitting for this one, if you're on the floor, stay on the floor. But if you're sitting, I would like for you to bend forward if you can, and then bring your arms back towards the ceiling, squeezing those shoulder blades together, okay? If you're on hands and knees, we're gonna do one arm at a time, okay? So we're gonna do one arm up and then back down. Okay, we'll do 10 total. At five, I'll be switching sides. If you're sitting, you're doing both at the same time. Ready and go. One, two, squeeze that shoulder blade together. Three, four, five, switch sides if you're on the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, I am coming up off the ground. I will be using my chair to do so, and then we will finish in our chairs today, okay? So just give me one second. Come back to a seated position. You guys can grab some water if you need. All right, very good, everyone. I did see some of you been on the ground, which is awesome. Um, it's very hard to do the stuff on the ground, so thank you for joining me there. If not, do not worry about it. It was good just to see everyone moving, okay? So starting arms down beside us, nice wide fingers. You take a nice deep breath in, reach above head and then breathe out as you go down. Good, again, up, breathe in. Out as you go down. Good, in. Out. In. Out. One more, breathing in. Breathing out. Very good. Okay, we're gonna try to stretch our spines a little. So I want you to reach for your opposite knee. Your free hand, I want you to reach for the back of the chair. I would like for you to try to turn your back as much as you can to look behind you and take three nice deep breaths here. If you can, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more. Good, and come back forward once you're done with those three breaths, and then we will switch sides. So take your other hand, reach for the opposite knee, take your free hand, reach for the back of the chair, trying to turn and stretch. Take three deep breaths here. In through the nose, out through the mouth, Very good, once you're done with that, try coming forward. Okay, if you are able, grab one of your knees, either behind the knee or in front of the knee, and bring it up to your chest. Let's do 10 ankle circles while we're here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good, put that leg down. Try the other side, lifting that knee towards your chest. Try and 10 ankle circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. Okay, if we can, let's try bringing one leg up over. If you can't, you can always 
straighten that other leg if it can't get up. Trying to hold this here. If you don't feel a stretch, you can always try leaning forward, but if you already feel a stretch, just try holding it here. Whichever way you did your ankle circles, I want you to reverse it and go the other way now. Hopefully you have some room. If that foot is directly on that knee and you don't have movement, that is okay. But if it is free to move, try giving it some circles here. Good. And 10. Very good. All right, let's put that leg down. Let's try switching sides. Okay, so switching legs that are up. If you can, leave some room for that ankle. And I want you to try switching directions of your circles, but also trying to feel a stretch in that hip while we're in this position. Very good. And rest. Okay, let's put that leg down. Sitting here, let's do a neck stretch because I don't think I warmed up the neck at all to begin with today. So if you can, grab the bottom of your chair to try to help keep this shoulder and arm grounded to the floor, okay? So I don't want to see them hiking up at all. I want you to keep them down. And then I want you to imagine bringing your opposite ear towards your shoulder. So hopefully you feel a stretch here on the side of your neck. We are gonna hold this. If you don't feel a stretch, you can try bringing that shoulder more down as if it's going into your back pocket. You can always add your hand on top of your head to help pull it down. But if you're feeling a good stretch already, you can just let the gravity and the head weight pull it down. It should be moderate intensity pull, so nothing too intense. Good, slowly come back up. Roll those shoulders out a little. We're gonna switch sides. So your other hand, if you can grab the back of the chair, and then you're bringing your other ear towards your shoulder, trying to keep that shoulder down, okay? Like I said, if you need to make it more intense, you can grab your hand, gently help pull it down towards your shoulder on that side of that hand that's pulling. Holding this here, hopefully you guys are feeling a good stretch on the side of your neck, I know I am. Very good, and then slowly relax that. Good, try rolling those shoulders out. Do a couple circles here. All right, we're gonna end with some finger flicks today. So if you can put your fist out in front of you, we're gonna do 10 finger flicks together like you're trying to get water off your hands, but I want you guys to count out loud at home, nice and loud. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right. That is all I have for you guys today.